stay in school Hit the library, make your dreams come true Make wise choices, don't play the fool You are somebody and that's made you cool So don't do drugs and no smoking Don't drink and drive, let that be a slogan Don't you believe me or use peer pressure Just put your head up for tie your door sketch up Make sure you buckle up before you take a ride Make community shine, have neighborhood pride Go raise your kids right with these words I say one one big family called USA This is Mr. Deep Positivity, and this is Deep Lessons for Life. Today, I'm so excited, boys and girls. I am at my old elementary school, Henry Bonnard. This school is where I went to school from kindergarten all the way to sixth grade. And what's even more exciting is my son is one of the special guest co-hosts because he's in the fifth grade here at Henry Bonnard. Very exciting. Today's show is called Healthy Lessons for Life. We're going to be teaching you how to take care of your mind, your body, and your spirit. You got to take care of yourself, boys and girls. It's up to you to be healthy. You got to eat the right foods. You got to take care of your teeth. You got to wash your hands before you eat and all the great things you need to know. We're going to have the kids teaching you about what they've done for different projects for health, what they've learned in health class, and also to be role models for you guys. They actually created a couple of songs. It's so exciting. I even have some professionals in the field. This is Mr. Deep Positivity and this is Deep Lessons for Life. Welcome to Henry Bonnet. Hi, I'm Kristen Vito Silva, and this is Morgan Partington, and we're first grade teachers at Henry Bonnard. Boys and girls, we have a really special surprise today. Mr. Deep Positivity is here to hear all about your health lessons that you've done. Hello, thank you for having me in your class. Awesome. Boys and girls, are you ready to tell me what you learned about health? Huh? What did you boys and girls learn about health? Who can raise your hand and tell me? All right. How about you? Hi, how about you? What is your name? Israel. What did you learn, Israel, about health? Nutrition labels and how much sugar and protein are in foods. Fantastic. So you actually learned how to read a nutrition label, right? Yes. What could you tell them that's on the nutrition label that's so important? Protein and fiber are one of the healthy, healthiest ones on it. Read your nutrition labels. <laughs> Who else has an answer to that question, what did you learn about health? What is your name? Mitchell. Mitchell, what did you learn about health? What is a nutrient and why is it healthy? So what is a nutrient? Nutrients are the parts of food that your body uses to do its work. Fantastic. And why is it good? Because your body needs nutrients to do some of its hard work. If you don't have nutrients, your body can't do your hard work in your body. Fantastic. So can you look at the camera and say, eat good nutrients? Eat good nutrients. And how about you? What is your name? Madison. Madison, what did you learn about health? Use the f foods from the five food groups. Aha, uh -huh. so you should choose the food from the five food groups. Do you know how to name all five food groups? That's a hard question. This is first grade, ladies and gentlemen. I, ho I hope you guys know this. What are the five food groups? Can you give me some of them? Let's see. Vegetables, mm -hmm. fruit, dairy, grains, Protein. I think that was five. Fantastic. Can we give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Eat the five food groups. Um, how about you? What did you learn about health? What is your name, first of all? Miles. Miles, what did you learn about health? 
Why is naturally purple food healthy for you? Ah, so why is it healthy for you? Blackberries are known for having amazing healing powers. Blackberries are known for having amazing healing power. Can you tell the people out there, look at the camera and say, so eat your blackberries. Eat your blackberries. You heard it first on Deep Lessons for Life. Eat your blackberries. How about you? What is your name? Zachary. Zachary, what did you learn about health? Um, how does food travel through your body? So where does it go first? Point to it. Where does your food go first? You put the food in your mouth, right? Then you chew, chew, chew it up. Then your saliva breaks it down. That's what he said. Then you swallow and it goes down your throat. And then it goes into your intestines and it goes all the way through and then it goes all the way down and your body processes it and you get the food you need that will make you healthy and strong eat good food you heard it first on deep lessons for life hi what is your name aaron aaron what did you learn about health what's the healthiest food item that you can eat oh that's a good one what is the healthiest food item you can eat what is it well, blueberries is one of the healthiest food items that you can eat because it's rich in fiber and antioxidants. Eat your blueberries. That's right. Hi, what's your name? George. George, what did you learn about health? Uh, that um, I learned that protein, it can help your skin grow healthy and lutein can help the risk of heart sickness. Make sure you get enough protein. That's right. You heard it from a first grader. Hi, what is your name? Elsa. Elsa, what did you learn about health? Does the food label really tell you what's in the food? She said, does the food label really tell you what's in the food? And what is the answer to that question? Yes. Make sure you read your labels. That's right. You heard it from a first grader on Deep Blessings for Life. Hi, what's your name? Audrey. Audrey, what did you learn about health? Why do different foods taste differently? Ooh, that's a good one. Why do different foods taste differently? Make sure you guys pay attention to this answer. Different foods taste differently because they have different ingredients in them. For example, fruit has natural sugar and bread has grains. All foods have a different taste. Enjoy all the food that's out there. That's right. Enjoy your food. You heard it first on Deep Blessings for Life. Hi, and what did you learn about health? What is your name, first of all? Earl. What did you learn? What's the sodium mean? And what does sodium mean? I heard that word before. Salt, and it helps your blood in your body. And if you have too much of it, you'll have high blood pressure. Uh-huh. Don't eat too much salt. Hi, what's your name? Selena. Selena, what did you learn about health? What? Why is fiber so good for you? You know, my doctor tells me all the time, eat fiber, eat fiber. Why is fiber so good? Fiber is kind of material that your body cannot use. Fiber cleans out your intestines and makes it easier to go to the bathroom. Uh-huh, so that's why my doctor wants me to eat fiber, so it can make it easier for me to go to the bathroom. So tell the people out there, eat your fiber! Eat your fiber! That's right, eat your fiber. You heard it first from Mr. Deep Positivity. Hi, what's your name? Ethan. Ethan, what did you learn about health? Are pancakes healthy? Are pancakes healthy? I just had pancakes yesterday. Uh-oh, I'm kind of scared of this answer. Are pancakes healthy? Um, they provide essential nutrients. It makes them unhealthy if you top them with butter and syrup. Uh-huh, so they are healthy, but it depends on what you put on them. Eat healthy pancakes. That's right. Very good answer. Thank you. Hi, what is your name? Mirabel. Mirabel, what did you learn about health? I learned how fruits and vegetables get their color. Hmm. I've always wondered how they get their color. Can you tell me how do they get their color? Yes. Okay. They Different fruits and vegetables are made up of different kinds of antioxidants, and different kinds of antioxidants are in, are different colors. Fantastic. So the antioxidants is what gives them their color. Eat your fruits and vegetables. You heard it first on Deep Lessons for Life. Great answer. Thank you. Hi, and what did you learn about health? What is your name? 
Polly. What'd you learn? Um, how does sugar get into milk? How does sugar get into milk? I always wondered that. How does it get there? Um, lactose is a sugar that occurs naturally in milk. Uh huh. Is milk good for you? Yes. Drink your milk. Hi. What's your name? Zoe. And what did you learn about health? Uh, what what is calcium? And what is calcium? That's a great question. Calcium is something that helps parts of your body, like your skeleton and your teeth. Is that good for you? Yes. Um, so Make sure you eat enough calcium. Hi, what is your name? Ben. Ben, what did you learn about health? Why do you need vitamins A, B, and C? Why do you need vitamins A, B, and C? That's a great question. Can you tell them why? Vitamin A. A helps your cells grow, mm -hmm. and vitamin B helps your body use carbohydrates, mm -hmm. and vitamin C helps um, you heal wounds. Eat your vitamins. That's right. Eat your vitamins. Mr. D Positivity takes a daily vitamin every day to make sure I get my vitamins. So eat your vitamins, boys and girls. You heard it first on Deep Blessings for Life. These first graders did phenomenal. They had great answers. You could tell they've been working hard in health. And I'm very proud of the teachers here. Thank you, Ms. Vito Silva. And thank you, Nurse Sarah Blessing, for bringing health to these students. And for these students to bring it to you guys who watch my show. You heard it first on Deep Lessons for Life. Take care of yourself. Be So today what I'd like to talk about is healthy eating and ways that you can eat healthy forever for life and your whole family can actually eat together with you. So the concept of my plate, as you can see here, looks at the whole plate in total and how you should break down your food groups. We have five food groups. We have the whole grains or the grains as you know as pasta, spaghetti, tortillas or rice and bread. And so that should take about a quarter of your plate. And then we have the meat group, which is your proteins. So that encompasses meats, eggs, fish, or beans, and we want to choose lean choices. So that should take another quarter of your plate. And then the other half of your plate should be filled with fruits and vegetables. And so any type of fruits or vegetables are healthy or anything that you like. You never want to force yourself to eat anything that you don't like, but I'm sure with such a variety out there and so many different colors to choose from that you could find some that you really like. The other food group that we can't leave out is the dairy, and dairy would be over here. Um, that would be the milk, cheese, or yogurt, or even pudding or cottage cheese. You have many different ways to get dairy, and dairy is very important for growing bones. So as children, you really want to make sure that you're getting enough dairy every day. So, Miss Brenda, I have a question for you. What are some of the dangers that kids have to look out for? Or what could you say is the most dangerous thing that the kids need to watch out for? Sugar can be a big problem today in our diet. It's filled with sugary foods. Let's take a look at some of the sugar they hide in your food. So, as you can see, the soda contains a lot of sugar. And each cube equals one teaspoon of sugar. That's a lot of hidden sugar in your drink. This is another popular beverage that you may drink. 
As you can see, this has a lot of sugar and it really doesn't taste like it has that much sugar in it. Be mindful of how much sugar is in your food because you could be eating your whole day's worth of supply of sugar just for one little treat for breakfast. Just one little snack on one little cookie or maybe three, they start to add up and by the end of the day, you're feeling sick. So be in charge and take charge of your health. Hi, this is Dr. Wade. I'm doing this on how to take care of your teeth. Most important thing in taking care of your teeth is brushing. You should brush your teeth at least three times a day and floss them once a day. That's very important for your dental health. After the age of two and a half, you should see a dentist twice a year to have your teeth checked. And in your teenage years, we may put braces on your teeth to straighten them, which will make them much easier to keep clean and take care of. Uh, modern dentistry is much better. With the fluoride in the water that we all use, decay is down tremendously. Most children have very few cavities. They see a dentist regularly and brush their teeth. So that's the big thing today is making sure you take care of those teeth every day. The proper way to brush your teeth is to make sure you brush every surface. There are three surfaces. The first surface is the top of your teeth and you brush it just like that. The second surface is the inside of your teeth and you're going to angle the brush and brush right along the inside of your teeth. And then last, you're going to brush along the outside of your teeth. So you got all three surfaces, top, inside, and outside on top and bottom teeth. So this is Dr. Wade. The most important thing is to brush those teeth every day. Hi, I'm Bobby, and I'm here with Mrs. Bucci's class. We will be singing the song Healthy For Me. My name is John A, and one way to feel good about yourself is to look at happy pictures. Hmm. My name is Mason, and one way to be healthy is eating vegetables. 
Hi, my name is Hannah, and one way to be healthy and keep your grades up is to exercise your brain. Ways to do this are reading and flashcards. This will help you in many ways. Hello, my name is Xavier, and one way to keep healthy is to exercise your muscles. Hi, my name's Cecily, and one way to be healthy is eat lots of fruits. Hi, my name is Miles. One way to be healthy is wash your body. Hi, my name is Riley, and one way to keep healthy is to wash your hands to keep the germs away. Hi, my name is Ellis, and one way to keep healthy is to exercise, like doing jumping jacks in any sports you can do for 60 minutes a day. Hi, I'm Cecily and Jeanne, and the real way to feel good about yourself is to have friends. Well, I work as a shiatsu massage therapist, and shiatsu is, uh, is from Japan. Um, it means finger pressure, uh -huh. and we use finger pressure we use our palms uh, to help people feel better. You know, we all like getting touched at times by people that care about us. Whether, whether you know, we may have skinned our knee or, or do we just feel sad or upset, it's nice to get a hug. And, and what a massage therapist does is that they go to special schools to learn how to help people in special ways who maybe have headaches, or they hurt their back, or maybe they're very stressed or, or depressed. And we've learned that there are certain places on the back, say, or elsewhere on the body that you can press to help, uh, help them feel better. So hello. Here is my diagram of the lymphatic system. We have this nice poster here. We are talking about the lymphatic system, which is a lymph vessel system here. We have a tiny little network that runs right through your whole body. It's covering every surface of your skin. And the lymph vessels are running to the lymph nodes. And what they're carrying is all the waste products. So we have dead cells, bacteria, viruses, proteins, and fats. And the vessels are going to the lymph nodes. We have many lymph nodes in the neck. These are the cervical lymph nodes. We have two to 300 lymph nodes in the neck. When you're sick, when you're homesick, when you have little swollen glands, those are your lymph nodes. I think that what is important for children to know is not to be couch potatoes. They need to get up, run, jump, and play, and do deep breaths because that also moves your lymphatic system. So don't be a couch potato, run and jump and swim and do all these good things and you can keep your lymphatic system moving beautifully and be healthy and feel great. Lessons, Mr. D double E P positivity. Wash your hands before you eat. Twice a day, you gotta brush your teeth and floss your teeth before you lost your teeth. Eat healthy before you be obese. 
exercise to keep you healthy following dreams can make you wealthy you must believe you're beautiful take care of yourself so you can do you do what i do like simon says don't bully use respect and try your best these successful steps that all should know to take care of your mind body and soul i say b you say healthy b healthy b Hi, I'm Bobby, and I'm here to ask some questions to the kids. What is Pennies for Patients? You. Hi, my name is Joelle, and I'm going to answer what Pennies for Patients is. It's a group working together, finding money to help the Pennies for Patients Society program. Good job. Hi, my name is Amelia. How does your poster writing piece demonstrate what it means to you about helping others? You. Hi, my name is Isabel. I made this banner for Kids for ca Cancer. Have a heart and help kids for cancer. How about you? My name is Kayla, and why I made this poster is because um, for the kids who have cancer, and, uh, and I like the way how I did it. And um, I wrote pennies for patients on it, and I drew a huge penny on it. I drew bubbles, and one of the bubbles says, I'm very proud of myself. Support pennies for patients. Oh, that was a really good answer. Hi, my name is Owen, and I made this poster, poster for pennies for, for patients. I wrote little speech bubbles, and I wrote them, them in chalk, and I cut out lemons, um in yellow paper and made a little lemonade cup with a little lemon on top. I sold lemonade and yell and I told everyone it was for a cause. Hi, my name is Noelia. Welcome Deborah and Marissa. Thank you both for being here. Thank you so much for having us. On behalf of the students at Henry Barnard School, we would like to present you with this check for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, Pennies for Patients program. Thank you so much on behalf of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society and my friend, Miss Marissa, who is a survivor. We thank you for this check. I know the students and the staff worked really hard at Henry Barnard to help other children, so thank you so much. I'm Mr. Deep Positivity, and I'm with Nurse Blessing here at Henry Barnard School. Thank you so much for all your hard work with these students. As we can tell by looking at this TV show, the kids worked hard, and they had to have someone leading the way, and I heard you were the person. Is that correct? Well, not just me. The teachers and all the specialists and everybody kind of pitched in and um, did a lot of teaching about health this year. Um, everyone did a great job. Fantastic. This is Mr. D Double E P Positivity. Support the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society with me. Me, 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 me. Community, unity, cooperation to help cancer patients. You and me do the fleet participating so research can save them. Community, unity, cooperation to help cancer patients. You and me truthfully can help to save them with pennies for patients. There's a serious problem, we don't know what the answer is. Spreading like a plague, it's a shame when the cancer hits. You can't simply sit, we must unite and fight to handle it. Cause all benefit when there's a cure for what is cancerous. It's lethal and damages fellow humans really quick. But now there's a way to save the day and help the really sick. Strange how taking change can make a change, get fellow man a lift. Quarters, pennies, nickels, dimes, unified shares a gift. Enormous in this forest, see our unity and caring is multiple. Apply to overtime, each woman, child, and man will live. All can give, even kids, your school can make a difference.